Right, in this video we are going to look at how we're going to show that two lines intersect uh, in three dimensions and then find the point of intersection. So the two lines that I'm going to be working with are up here. So we've got L1, okay, line number 1, is R equals 1 minus 3, 2 plus lambda lots of minus 3, 2, 4, okay? So 1 minus 3, 2 is the position vector for line 1 and minus 3, 2, 4 is the direction vector for line 1. Now we've got line 2, r equals 5 minus 10 minus 11, so that's the position vector, and mu lots of 5, 1, 1, that's the direction vector. Okay, So the direction vector is always the vector that comes next to the um, letter, if you will, the multiplier. So lambda in this case and mu in the second case. Now in two dimensions, the way that you figure out where lines intersect is through simultaneous equations and it is very much the same in three dimensions. So you put 1 equal to the other. So 1 minus 3, 2 plus lambda lots of minus 3, 2, 4 is equal to 5 minus 10 minus 11 plus mu lots of 5, 1, 1. Now from that, we can construct the three simultaneous equations. One, take away three lots of lambda, must be equal to five plus five lots of mu. Here we have minus three plus two lots of lambda, must be equal to minus ten plus mu or one lot of mu. We also have 2 plus 4 lots of lambda is equal to minus 11 plus one lot of mu. Okay, so we have three equations with two unknowns. So you'll probably be a little unused to having three equations to solve simultaneously. So the way to do this is to choose two of them and work with only two of them, okay? And then, once you have a, a lambda and a mu, substitute them into the equation you did not use originally, okay? So, the point of that will be that if the lambda and mu works in the final equation, then yes, the two lines intersect. If they don't work, then the two lines must be uh, skew lines, or they are parallel. So, it's really your choice about which two to, cho to choose to work with. I'm going to work with equation 2 and equation 3, because I this is going to be the easiest ones to manipulate, because I have a plus mu and a plus mu, so if I do one equation take away the other, the mu's will be eliminated and just leaving me with lambdas. So I'm going to do equation 3, take away equation 2, because that will leave me a positive lambda. So I have 2 take away minus 3, that's 5, and 4 lambda take away 2 lambda is just 2 lambda. Minus 11 take away minus 10 is minus 1, and mu take away mu is 0, okay, which is what I wanted. So if I take 5 from both sides, I get 2 lambda is minus 6, so lambda must be minus 3. I then substitute lambda is minus 3 into one of those two equations. Okay, um, So I'm going to choose equation 2. So in equation 2, I'm going to get minus 3 plus 2 lots of minus 3 so that's minus 6, is equal to minus 10 plus mu. So minus 3 take away 6 is minus 9, add 10 to it is 1. So mu is 1. So now that I have a lambda and a mu, I must then substitute both of those into equation 1. Just to check.
So I have 1 take away 3 lots of lambda. So 1 take away 3 times minus 3 is equal to 5 plus 5 lots of mu, which is 1. So I get 1 plus 9 is 10, and 5 plus 5 is also 10. So it works. Um, so my lambda mu works in the equation I didn't originally use. So that means that, that, that the two lines intersect. So we have the two lines intersecting, and it's just now, can we work out where they intersect? So the two lines intersect. So now just choose either your lambda or mu, and substitute lambda into L1 or mu into L2. Seeing as 1 is probably the easier to work with than minus 3, I'm going to sub them uh, mu is 1 into L2. And I get um, my, well, R, as we know, is x, y, z. 5 plus 1 lot of 5 is 10. Minus 10 plus 1 lot of 1 is minus 9. And minus 11 plus 1 lot of 1 is minus 10. So this is the vector, okay, that will get me from the origin to the point of intersection. So the coordinates of the point of intersection is 10 minus 9 minus 10. So that is where the two lines intersect in 3D space. Okay.